Hello everyone, this is Nadia from Lifter LMS. Today I will show you how our Lifter LMS core plugin works, what are the features of the core plugin and how do you set it up. So the Lifter LMS core plugin is the free version of Lifter LMS. In this core plugin you will get all the basic features of Lifter LMS. So on this website, I have all the default themes and plugins. I didn't upload any themes and plugins yet. First, we have to add a theme that is compatible with Lifter LMS. So I will install the Cadence one. So we have some tutorials with the Cadence theme and how the Cadence theme works with Lifter LMS. So don't forget to check that out. So first, I will visit Appearance, then click on Themes. Now I will click on add new option. So here in the search box, I will search for cadence. So here we can see the cadence theme. Now I will click on install. So now just click on activate. So now the cadence theme has successfully installed in our website. Now we need to install the Lifter LMS Core plugin. For that, you have to go plugins, then add new. So in this search box, we have to search for Lifter LMS. So I'm typing Lifter LMS. Here we can see our Lifter LMS Core plugin. We have to just click on activate. So here is our Lifter LMS setup wizard. So uh, you can skip this setup, but I always prefer to click on this get started now button. Here is our some essential pages. We need these pages. So just click on save and continue. You can add your country and the currency here. I'm leaving it as it is and I'm uh, enabling this checkbox because I want enable offline payments. So just click on save and continue. Click on allow. So setup is completed. Here we have some Lifter LMS video tutorials and our Lifter LMS started guide. You also can visit these links. Also, we have our uh, courses templates. You can uh, enable this, but I will show you from scratch. That's why I'm clicking on this start from scratch button. And here we can add our course. We have to just uh, add our course title first. So I'm typing test course. You can add a short description of your course here. You can add course information. Here we have our course instructor. So now we can see that we have an access plan option. So first we need, we have to add a new access plan option. For that we have to click on this add new option. So we have to type our plan title. So I'm typing lifetime access. We can add our plan SQ. We can uh, type our enroll text options. I'm typing enroll. We can select the visibility. So I'm selecting visible because I want that my my student can see this course. So if your course is free, just enable this checkbox. So now you can see that we have an option that access expiration options. So in this option, we have three. Uh, method lifetime access expires after and expires on if we select the lifetime access that means my students always able to access this course if i select the expires after option i can see uh, that we can select uh, years here so i selected two years that means the student can access this course for two years after enrolling in this course if I select expires on, we can see that we can select a date. That means we can select the 
date when this course will expire also we have the plan availability uh, i am selecting to anyone also we can add a plan description here one thing is if your course is not free just disable this checkbox and now here we have option to add the price so i'm tapping hundred dollar you can select the payment option one time payment or every second or every third i'm selecting one time payment also we have the previous option access expiration plan availability the new one is sale pricing so this course is not on sale that's why that's why i'm selecting it's not on sale now just click on save here we have a student management box uh, this box basically works for manual involvement so we already have a tutorial on our channel on how to manually enroll a user in co your course or memberships so don't forget to check that out now just click on publish and publish course is published already so if we go back to our website and click on this course catalog option we will find our course so here we can see our test course i already have added a featured image here so if we click on this test course see we have this course our enroll button price author course title so it uh, doesn't look good now because i'm not concerned about the design right now my main target is to show you the lifter lms code plugin features but you can customize this a uh, course layout lesson layout and so on so now is the time that you can see that we don't have the lesson quiz or assignment options here now is the time to add quiz uh, assignment lesson so just go back to our previous tab here we can see that we have an option course builder just click on this launch course builder option see here is our course title now we have to add a section here section is basically working like a chapter so we have to just click on the section we can rename this section i'm typing for introduction so under this section now we can add a less new lesson and existing lesson so we will add a new lesson here click on new lesson also we can rename this new lesson. here we have a lots of features but every features is not uh, available on our lifterlm score plugin so we have uh, we have the basic features of lifterlm here so just click on this edit set lesson settings option see here we have our lesson one so in this lesson we can add a video video and audio here so just uh, paste the url i'm pasting a youtube video here also you can add the audio here if you drip method options here we have two options on a specific date of days after course enrollment so on a specific date means when actually you want to publish this course or publish this lesson to your students and if you select the of days after course enrollment we can add a days here so i'm selecting one that means when my student will enroll in this course they will get this lesson after one day so i'm not selecting anything from here uh, this will save automatically here we can see that we have a we have added a video on our lesson so that it's showing me that it i has a video on my lesson so we can add a new lesson here they got new lesson so in this lesson i'll show you how you can add a quiz so i'm just first click on this edit lesson settings then here from here we can select the quiz Let's create new quiz so here we can add a dis quiz description we can uh, uh, page a uh, limit of attempts time limit so if if you uh, enable this limit attempts that means you have fixed that your students can maybe attempt your the quiz five times or two times so i'm just disabling, disabling this you can add a time limit option here then uh, you can uh, enable this show correct answer option randomize question order options now you can add question here 
so in our literal sport planning we have the basic questions option here the multiple choice picture choice and true or false so i'm selecting the multiple choice option so here we can see we can add a question so i'm just adding a simple question like two plus two equal to what so here we can add description image and video also we can choose the multiple correct choice options so i'm typing the correct answer here and the wrong answer here so if you also can select uh, the correct answer so this one is my correct answer so i'm selecting this one truly green circle means the correct answer so if my ans correct answer is two i'll select this one also here we can add points our question points we can add description image and videos so now i'll show you another question option that is true or false so here we can add our question i'm just typing for a random question the so true is my uh, i think i will select the false one that false is my correct answer that's why i'm selecting false also i can add the question marks we can add image video here also we can enable this result clarifications option and don't forget to publish button so now our course is uh, our quiz is published already so now if we go back to our website you can see that here we have our lessons lesson one and new lesson so if we click on lesson one i can see i have a video that we have added so also i have button so if i click on this button that means my lesson is complete so also it will read redirect to me in the new lesson next lesson i have a, a quiz so we can uh, we can attempt a quiz from here just click on take quiz option start quiz class two is four next question i'm selecting false complete quiz see here we have uh, get we have got a uh, lots of notification that i have completed a lesson completed a section completed a course first a quiz now if we go back to our course builder so now we have the assignment option but uh, this assignment option is not available on our lift rlms core plugin if you want to add the assignment option we have our lift rlms assignment uh, add-ons and also you can go for our bundles so in lift rlms core plugin we also have a prerequisite option so i will show you how you can use this so first go to your dashboard so i have already created two new cores so i want that this new two course students are not able to access this course before completing new one course so i will add a prerequisite course in new two. so i will click on edit here we can see that we have a course options here we have a restriction tab we will click on this restrictions so here we have lots of options we enable the uh, enable prerequisite options here we have to select the new one course i'm selecting new one and update now if i go back to my new to course refresh it can see that we have a notification that before starting this course you must complete the required prerequisite course new one if i now view as a uh, students now if i click on this lesson i can see that here we have a notification that the lessons new lesson cannot be accessed until the required prerequisite course new one is completed so that's it now i'll show you about the membership option so make sure you have your wp admin you have the memberships create add memberships I'm typing for guest membership. Here we have our membership instructor. We can add a short description here. We can add a access plan like we have created previously in our course. 
and this q is all fixed you know payment or equal or i click on thousand dollar save one thing is that uh, from our membership settings we have option that auto enrollment if we click on this auto enrollment we have an option that we can uh, add a course here that when someone buy this membership they will get auto enrolled in my selected course so i will select a test, test course so when someone buy this test membership they will get enrolled in my test course so just click on save publish also when you will uh, create a page you will find an option that there have option that membership access so if you uh, want to create some content that you only want to show you to your member memberships so just enable this membership access so no one will able to access this though that course without your memberships so now if we go back to our dashboard and view this membership see thing now when someone enroll in this course they will get auto enrolled in my test course if you click on this enroll button now it will redirect us to our checkout page here we can see that lift alumnus score plugin has the manual payment option only in the score plugin so if you want you can add the stripe and paypal and also woocommerce one also we have engagement options here we have achievements certificates and engagements so how you can create a certificate or an achievement badge so first if you want to create a certificate so click on certificate here click on add certificate template you can add title so i'm adding for certificate So we have also some uh, merge codes and short codes option you can add from here and now i'm just click on publish you can uh, try as you want actually so if i go back to my dashboard now i have to create a engagements so click on add engagements so click on a title sum as i'm providing a certificate so i'll type related to certificate so i'm typing so here we can select the option that when we award this certificate or send this certificate to our student we have lots of option i'll select when student will complete a course you can select any of this you want which course i'll select the test course then you can add uh, the engagement types we have award and engage uh, achievement award a certificate send an email i will uh, select this award a certificate option here we have a select an engagement option so this option is basically i have created the certificates that course completion this one is showing here so i'm selecting this now click on publish so our certificate is ready so when my students will complete a course they will get a certificate also we can uh, award uh, achievement to them so for that you have to just click on the achievements first you can add achievement template here we can add a title so i will type in achievement Then uh, uh, add an achievement title and success as 
Now you can also select a photo here, image here. I'm just selecting the default one. Just click on publish. Now click on add engagement. Title achievement. When it will trigger, I will uh, when they will complete maybe a lesson. I will when they will student process a quiz. So I will select new lesson quiz one. Engagement type award and achievement. Select an engagement achievement. Then click on publish. Now, I, if I go back to my test course, because I have added the certificate to my test course, I'm viewing as a student. So if I click on this lesson, I have to uh, completed this course. So just I, I don't have anything in this lesson. So I'm just uh, clicking on the mark complete button. So after completing this course, I can see that I have earned a certificate. I also get some notifications. So if I click on the dashboard, this one is the student dashboard so here we have lots of options that my courses membership achievement so this uh, test course is my course if, and now if i click on the my certificate option i can see that i have a certificate that certificate certificate for completed a course if i click on this so here is my certificate also if i now completed the quiz i will get the achievement badge so i'll click on test course lesson two because my quiz is on lesson two just click on take quiz Start quiz. see i have get the achievement so it's if you want you can uh try new things that you can send an email you can add more engagement options so also in our different sport plugin we have a course track option on course so also you can add an engagement for course track so that's all for today if you enjoyed my video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe our channel thank you so much